Good afternoon students. Today we will deal with the second part of the topic our environment. In the first part we dealt about our environment and its components and various domains of the environment. Now again I will explain the topic ecosystem. What is ecosystem? A complex relationship between all the living and non-living things that is plants, animals, organism, sun, water, climate etc. interact with each other is known as an ecosystem. Ecosystem are the foundation of biosphere and maintains the natural balance of the earth. For example, let's take the relationship between a deer and a lion in the ecosystem. For its survival, the lion eats the deer and each relationship like this has an effect on other creatures and plants living in the same area. Hence, if the lion eats more deer, it has an effect on the plants too. They begin to flourish since there aren't many deer to eat the plants. So each organism in the ecosystem plays an important role. So anytime a foreign factor is put in the ecosystem, it possesses a major threat to the ecosystem. This happens because the foreign factor can deform the natural balance of the ecosystem and harm it potentially. This foreign factor could be anything ranging from rising temperature to the tsunami. It can be said as the natural calamities. Not just a foreign factor but man-made can also destroy the ecosystem. There are many ecosystems found that is being seen in the rainforest, grassland, desert, lakes, rivers or a, in a small pond and every ecosystem varies from each other. They are different. So for another example I would give you it is of a river ecosystem. It consists of fishes along with the plants and other insects and also it is being seen many different varieties or species of fishes are also being found. One may also find birds that hunt in and around the water for its food. So you can see that they are interdependent or you can say they are interrelated with each other. So they form a different ecosystem. So we have C. So we'll move to the other further component of our environment that is human environment. So what it is, human beings are the part of environment in which we live. They are influenced by the environment. That means we are always being influenced by the surroundings, the environment. And we have adapted and modified the environment according to the needs. And with the scientific and technology, with science and technology, we have succeeded in controlling and dominating the nature to some extent. But you can see the interaction of human beings with the environment is little bit very difficult or you can say very complex in nature. And it has been seen it varies from place to place and from time to time. And we have seen that early humans, how they have adapted this. Early humans, it has been seen, adjusted with the surrounding in which they lived. Humans started using environmental resources for their needs. As we have witnessed that human has changed with the passage of time. And now we have started using technology for our needs. In the past, first humans settled near the river banks for agriculture purposes. They started domesticated animals and learned to live settled life. Then further, the invention of wheel helped them for the surplus of food production and introduced barter system for exchange of goods. They started trade and commerce to develop. Gradually, they started progressing in raw materials 
to meet their needs and we have seen that the coming of industrial led to increase large scale production of goods this rapid increase in trade and commerce also led to have good transport and communication so we have seen that these are the things which we have developed which was interaction between the environment with the human how human has interacted with the environment and human needs are now harming our environment and because of that many other problems are rising day by day and which we are facing it in today's world and it is being seen that what are the issues we are facing there are many things which are happening because of that environmental problems or issues has been created that is global warming air pollution water pollution ozone depletion nowadays it is being increasing due to human activities harmful gases like sulfur dioxide carbon monoxide produced by various industries in increasing in the atmosphere the trees are being cut down and the structure of the land are being changed to fulfill the increasing demands of housing which we do it for settling for setting up the industries for setting up the houses and for other purposes and other materials needed for the humans the sources even the sources of water are getting polluted due to mixing of harmful chemicals waste which is being released from the industries and the natural resources are being exploited by the human activities and humans perform all their activities on the environment and they are affecting us that means not only us but it is also affecting the other living organisms as a population of the world is increasing day by day the needs the desire and also it is increasing to fulfill the increasing needs and desire humans are using natural resources extensively and they are modifying environment as per their needs the environment is slowly changing due to various human activities and it is being seen it is very harmful and it is very adverse and because of that it is making an imbalance and slowly you will be seeing that the trees human beings are cutting down the trees for settlements and agriculture slowly green lands or forests are being replaced by the cities or towns human activities are not only affecting the environment but a billions of other living organisms living in the environment is also being affected human activities is creating an imbalance in the environment which invites various natural calamities like flood landslides tsunami earthquake and many other so we have to think that we should have a balance and we should decrease it in the points it is written there are various problems which has started due to technology due to the science development and overpopulation and urbanization this is because of our selfishness which is affecting the environment and it is being seen that environmental degradation is being seen is due to the human activity this degradation of environment has caused adverse effect on not only the human beings but also the plants and other living organisms human activities you say that it is responsible for degradation of environment it can be that unplanned urbanization industrialization are the major cause of cause of environmental pollution this is not only affects the environment but also affects the living organism living on earth the existence of human beings depends upon the environment so it can be said that it is our prime responsibility of every human to conserve the environment we should use natural resources very wisely and economically we should not do those activities that pollute the environment sustainable development activities should be carried out we should encourage of forestation and discourage deforestation mass awareness should be created about the conservation of natural resources 
strict laws should be made and properly implemented for the conservation of environment humans can play a great role in conservation of environment and we need to have a healthy environment so it is seen that what are the things we need and how we are interacting with the surrounding with the environment and how we are adversely affecting the environment so it is our responsibility to have a good environment not to pollute our own environment and this is all about the whole topic that is our environment we have completed the whole chapter and in the next video we will start with the topic of civics and we'll do the question answers in the later part thank you